Welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we shared with you the top foods that clear the arteries, improve erectile dysfunction, prevent heart attacks and strokes. Today we continue to share with you other substances that are also extremely important and effective in cleaning blood vessels and also helping to prevent coronary heart disease. Watch until the end of the video, please. What is arterial plaque? You have probably heard of plaque on your teeth, but your body also has another type of plaque. This is plaque that builds up in arteries. Plaque in the arteries is a fatty, waxy substance that forms deposits in the artery wall. These deposits can narrow the artery and reduce blood flow. This is called atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. What is plaque made of? Arterial plaque is made up of materials that enter the artery wall from the bloodstream. These include fat, cholesterol, calcium, waste products from cells and a clotting agent called fibrin. This is why your physician tests your cholesterol levels. High levels of bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, can indicate a higher risk of plaque buildup. What causes plaque in arteries? Plaque buildup in arteries is, unfortunately, a natural part of living. Even children and adolescents have early evidence of the process. However, diet and other lifestyle factors play an important role. High blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol and smoking can all worsen atherosclerosis. High blood pressure and the toxins in tobacco products damage the smooth inner lining of the artery, called the endothelium. These and other causes of inflammation of the artery lining contribute to cholesterol and other materials embedding in the artery wall to form plaques. Is all plaque dangerous? Plaque builds up in arteries throughout the body, but not all plaques are equally dangerous. You might hear the term vulnerable plaque. This refers to a soft plaque that has a thin, fibrous cap. This plaque is more likely to rupture, causing a blood clot to form at the rupture site. The blood clot can cut off blood flow through the artery and starve your body's tissues of oxygen and nutrients. Therefore, a ruptured plaque can be serious, it is the most common cause of a heart attack, stroke, sudden death. Can plaque buildup in the arteries be stopped? Plaque formation in arteries can be slowed. It may also be possible to reverse some of the damage, but mostly, it's a process of controlling further damage. Unlike going to the dentist and having plaque removed from your teeth, this is not so easily done in the blood vessels. But improvements can be made. If we have a 30% blockage in the artery from soft plaque, the goal is to try to suck out the cholesterol from the inside so the plaque shrivels down to 15% and leaves nothing inside it. Vitamins that can help. If you're suffering from clogged arteries, or are at risk of them developing, you must seek out help right away. The cardiologist may recommend various natural remedies for heart health that have been proven to be effective in limiting the amount of plaque buildup in the arteries. By increasing your intake of the following vitamins and minerals, you'll hopefully be able to help keep your arteries clear and your blood flowing. You can take action today to protect your heart health and prevent future coronary heart disease. First, you need to know what vitamins and minerals you should be supplementing with right now. 1. Potassium Potassium plays a role in every heartbeat. A hundred thousand times a day, it helps trigger your heart to squeeze blood through your body. Potassium doesn't treat or prevent heart disease. But getting enough of it can help your heart in many ways. Better blood pressure a diet high in fruits, vegetables and fat-free or low-fat dairy foods can help cut systolic blood pressure by more than 10 points in people with high blood pressure. Lower cholesterol, many diets that lower cholesterol are also high in potassium. If you drop your LDL, bad cholesterol, the chance you'll get heart disease will also go down. Regulated heartbeat, potassium enables your heart to beat in a healthy way. So, if you have rhythm problems, potassium may be key. How much do you need? The U.S. Department of Agriculture recommends 4,700 mg per day for healthy people. The best way to get enough potassium is to eat fruits and vegetables. It's also in dairy products, whole grains, meat, and fish. Other great sources include potatoes, tomatoes, avocados, fresh fruits, bananas, oranges, and strawberries, orange juice, dried fruits, raisins, apricots, prunes, 
and dates, spinach, beans and peas. You shouldn't take potassium pills unless your doctor recommends it. 2. Folic Acid, Vitamin B9 Researchers say a daily dose of folic acid could reduce a person's risk of heart disease and stroke by about 20%. Folic acid has been shown to effectively lower levels of an amino acid in the blood called homocysteine. Higher than normal levels of homocysteine levels are an independent risk factor for heart disease and can lead to dangerous blood clots and hardening of the arteries. Lowering homocysteine levels through the use of folic acid supplements and food fortification would be a safe and simple means to prevent heart disease. The folic acid could be taken as tablets by high-risk patients and possibly supplied to the general public through food fortification or a combination of both. The recommended daily amount of folate for adults is 400 micrograms. 3. Vitamin D The new research shows that people with low levels of vitamin D in their bodies have a higher risk for stroke. Vitamin D may help by improving the lining of blood vessel walls to allow blood to flow freely and by reducing the harmful effects of inflammation, along with several other effects. The study showed that vitamin D3 can repair damage to the heart and blood vessels caused by high blood pressure. It's getting clearer that having enough vitamin D in your body can help your heart health, lower high blood pressure, lower the risk of heart attacks and stroke. How do you know if you're getting enough? Only a blood test can tell. Sunshine is the biggest source of vitamin D, as your body makes vitamin D in response to sunlight. Many foods offer a good supply of vitamin D. These include salmon, sardines, egg yolk, shrimp, and fortified milk and orange juice. 4. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat. Omega-3s help keep your heart healthy and protect it against stroke. They also help improve your heart health if you already have heart disease. Omega-3s are good for your heart and blood vessels in several ways. They reduce triglycerides, a type of fat in your blood. They reduce the risk of developing an irregular heartbeat. They slow the buildup of plaque, a substance comprising fat, cholesterol, and calcium, which hardens and blocks your arteries. They help to slightly lower your blood pressure. Your body does not make omega-3 fatty acids on its own. You need to get them from your diet. Certain fish are the best sources of omega-3s. You can also get them from some plant foods. The American Heart Association recommends eating at least two servings a week of fish rich in omega-3s. A serving is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, which is slightly bigger than a checkbook. Oily fish rich in omega-3s include salmon, mackerel, albacore tuna, trout, sardines. Plant-based sources of omega-3s include ground flax seeds and flax seed oil, walnuts, chia seeds, canola oil and soy oil, soybeans and tofu. Most health experts agree that the best way to reap the benefits of omega-3 is from food. If you already have heart disease or high triglycerides, you may benefit from consuming higher amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. It may be hard to get enough omega-3s through food. Ask your doctor if taking fish oil supplements might be a good idea. 5. Magnesium Hypertension is a major risk factor for the development of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease. Several large, observational studies indicate that higher dietary intakes of magnesium are associated with lower blood pressure, a reduced risk for coronary heart disease. If you think you may have a magnesium deficiency, a simple blood test can determine if adding more magnesium is right for you. If you do have a low level of magnesium, a magnesium supplement can be a quick and easy go-to, but popping supplements isn't always the best answer. There are a lot of common foods that have high levels of magnesium, and they offer other heart-healthy advantages too, in addition to magnesium. The National Institutes of Health suggests these magnesium-rich foods, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, almonds, spinach, cashews, peanuts, shredded wheat cereal, soy milk, black beans, edamame, peanut butter, baked potatoes, with skins, brown rice, low-fat yogurt, fortified breakfast cereals, oatmeal, kidney beans, bananas. 6. Vitamin C 
vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps reduce cell wall damage caused by free radicals. The most important function of vitamin C in preventing heart attacks and strokes is its ability to increase the production of collagen, elastin, and other reinforcement molecules in the body. This improves stability of our arteries. Today, the average person's diet contains enough vitamin C to prevent scurvy, but not to guarantee healthy artery walls. As a result, millions of tiny cracks and lesions develop along the artery walls. When not enough vitamin C is available, then cholesterol, lipoproteins and other blood risk factors enter the damaged artery walls in order to repair these lesions. With low vitamin C intake, this repair process can continue for years and years and deposits develop in the arteries. Deposits in the arteries of the heart eventually lead to heart attack and deposits in the arteries of the brain lead to stroke. Vitamin C deficiency is prevalent today. Humans cannot produce vitamin C. We also don't get as much vitamin C in our diet today because of poor nutritional habits, processed foods, and the overcooking of foods which destroys most vitamins. Since we don't make our own vitamin C, we have to get it through our food and vitamin supplements. Here is a list of some common foods you can add to your daily diet that contain vitamin C. Oranges, lemons, limes, strawberries, pineapple, mango, cherries, bell peppers, Brussels sprouts, dark leafy greens, broccoli, cauliflower, tomatoes, melons, papaya, kiwi, bananas, peas. 7. Flavonoids Flavonoids are a type of phytochemical, a chemical produced by plants, that belong to a class of compounds called phenolics. Inside endothelial cells, the cells that make up the lining of blood vessels, certain flavonoids may increase the production of nitric oxide, a gaseous molecule that promotes relaxation of arterial walls. By improving endothelial cell function, flavonoids may help reduce the risk of progressing to more serious cardiovascular conditions, like atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease. Consuming flavonoid-rich food in beverages has been associated with a reduced risk of coronary heart disease. Several randomized controlled trials have demonstrated that habitual consumption of certain flavonoid-rich beverages, black tea, purple grape juice and high flavanol cocoa powder, improves endothelial function in patients with coronary heart disease, elevated blood cholesterol, or type 2 diabetes. Flavonoids in foods like apples and green tea can protect against cancer, heart disease. The study found that consuming about 500 mg of flavonoids daily seemed to provide the greatest protection against heart disease. 8. Phytosterols Phytosterols are a group of plant-derived compounds that are similar in structure to cholesterol. The two types of phytosterols are called plant sterols and plant stanols. Numerous randomized controlled trials have found that daily consumption of products enriched with plant sterols or plant stanols significantly lowers serum total and LDL cholesterol concentrations. Approximately 2 grams of phytosterols per day reduces serum cholesterol by approximately 9-14%. to Due to their cholesterol-lowering effect, the addition of phytosterols to a heart-healthy diet could further reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Foods rich in phytosterols include unrefined vegetable oils, whole grains, nuts, and legumes. The Benefits of Natural Remedies for Heart Health People only tend to consider traditional treatment methods when dealing with the issues of the heart. However, most traditional forms of treatment can have harmful complications. Medication often comes with addictive qualities, and even the most routine of surgeries carry risk. By choosing natural remedies for heart health, you'll allow the body to heal itself from within while avoiding any unfortunate complications. Talk to your doctor before you take any supplements, since some might interfere with medicines you're already taking. Consulting your doctor is especially important if you're pregnant or nursing. To keep your arteries healthy and clean, prevent coronary heart disease, besides adding vitamins and mineral supplements, it's best to always combine them with other methods such as using heart-healthy foods, unclogged artery foods, lifestyle changes. Details in the videos at our channel. Wish you have a good plan to protect your heart health, stay healthy and happy. Thank you for watching our video. We always provide the latest information useful for improving your health. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again.